Smart home systems are all about gadgets and devices that work well together and can seamlessly integrate into your routines. For the last few years, I've been using systems like Ring for security as well as Philips Hue for lighting, but I recently learned about the GE Sync smart home system, and that's spelled C-Y-N-C. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and GE's system has a few different gadget options than either Ring or Philips Hue, so I was keen to give it a try. In this review, I'll talk about the Sync smart lighting gadgets, including the Sync wire-free dimmer switch, the smart motion sensor, Direct Connect Color Smart Light Bulb, the Direct Connect Light Strip, and the Outdoor Smart Plug. I also got the Sync Indoor Smart Camera and the GE Sync Thermostat, and watch for those reviews here on the channel soon. With these lights, I'll talk about the setup process, what they can do, how the system works, and if I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's start with the setup. This is definitely a very easy smart home system to get set up and to install. The first thing you'll need is the GE Sync app. As the nerve center of your smart home, the app will allow you to remotely control and view your devices, set your lights on schedules or timers, and group devices as you may need them, like getting a motion detector set up with a light, for example. To get started with the app, you just need to create an account or log into one you already have. The app is delightfully uncluttered, modern looking, and easy to navigate, even for new users. You'll start by creating your home, then you'll add rooms. Finally, you'll set up each of your devices or your lights in a room. Adding the devices is as simple as clicking the plus sign, then choosing the type of device you'd like to set up. This system, by the way, has everything from lights and light strips to down lights or what are called wafers, as well as indoor and outdoor cameras, plus wired or wire-free switches. There's a thermostat with temperature and motion sensors you can get and a bunch more. It's actually a versatile and robust collection of devices, and I'm surprised it's taken me this long to get turned on to the brand. Every single device I set up inside the app was ready to roll in seconds. The system appears to work quite seamlessly. I will pause here for a second and point out what this system does not have, and that is a hub or a bridge. Now, while many smart home and lighting systems currently use hubs or bridges to connect these devices to your home's Wi-Fi network, the GE Sync system has opted to make its devices what's called direct connect, meaning no extra or pricey components to buy in order to get things to work. In my home, I set up the Direct Connect Color Smart Bulb to be connected with the Sync wire-free dimmer switch in my bedroom so I could turn my bedside lamp on or off from across the room. I also placed one outside on the patio. Getting both the light bulb and the switch set up was very easy inside the app, requiring just a couple of taps on the screen and everything was connected. The light bulbs change colors and have different temperatures of white light as well, perfect for setting a mood. The dimmer switch works great with the light and it gives me additional control in the bedroom where I didn't previously have a switch for this particular light. It's also possible to set a timer and you can do this using scenes inside the Sync app. I set my scene to turn the light on dimly just before I'd head into bed. The scenes feature is easy to figure out and it works really well. Next, I set up the Direct Connect light strip. This one I chose to be a background or ambient light in my living room and ran the strip behind my sofa. I also set up the motion sensor to turn the light on when I enter the room. Except for me, the motion sensor didn't actually seem to work. It would not trip the strip lights for me whatsoever. I switched its connection to my light bulb and had better luck this time, but it would generally take about 20 seconds before the motion would trigger the light bulb. Not ideal in my opinion. I also didn't really love the fact that I needed to press and hold a button on the sensor itself to make absolutely any changes whatsoever within the app. Lastly, I tried the Outdoor Smart Plug, and this is a great device for automating older patio lights or something like a water fountain. While the case here is quite large, it feels well made, and there's two plugs inside that can be turned on and off with the press of a button or using the app and a timer function if you want. You can mount the plug to the wall too for stability. My husband found the button feature handy when he didn't want to mess around with finding his phone, while I loved getting the patio lights and a fountain on a schedule so they'd come on each evening and turn off at bedtime. During my review, I found the entire system to be refreshingly simple, uncluttered, and uncomplicated to use. 
In my opinion, this would be an ideal smart home system to gift to someone who's not super tech savvy, since they should be able to get an entire home system set up and configured easily. One thing I was not able to do was figure out how to link devices together into more complicated scenes. For example, if I wanted the lights to turn on when the motion sensor was tripped and I wanted one of the GE Sync cameras to start recording, now this is something Ring can do for example, it seems that type of interconnectedness is not yet available from GE Sync. And perhaps that's not a bad thing since I just got finished praising the simplicity of this system. The other feature I do like having with smart lights that is missing here is a sunrise or sunset automated schedule that will manage your lights coming on and off at sunrise and sunset, even as it changes throughout the year. Overall, I have to say I've been really impressed with the GE Sync smart home system. There's a wide array of devices, it's super easy to set up, a breeze to use, and uncomplicated to manage multiple home devices. Downsides? I really have nothing bad to say about this system. Anything that's missing, like that extra connectedness of devices or the sunrise sunset timers, isn't a must have, just a maybe down the road have, <laughs> if that's a thing. I was also a bit stumped by the motion sensor and not thrilled with it not responding better to my bulbs and not at all with the light strip. Despite this issue, I'm really happy with the system overall and I can recommend all the components with the exception of that motion sensor for now. Prices range from about $25 US or $50 Canadian for a two-pack of light bulbs to about $50 US or $75 Canadian for something like the light strip, and most of the components are actually quite affordable. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this lighting kit. You can also post them here in comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.